In this video capsule, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the Explain Everything app. When you first come inside the Explain Everything app, what you want to do usually is create a new project. In order to do that, go to the upper left hand corner and click on the little plus symbol over here. Next, you're going to be asked to choose a color template. Not a big deal. I'm just going to go with the default one. You can change that afterwards. It pretty much just relates to the background color of your slide and the default colors of your pencil that you're going to be using. Okay, now that I'm in Explain Everything, I want you to look at the bottom of my screen over here and you're going to notice that I'm on slide one of one. So what we're going to do on our first slide is we're going to do a small little recording and I'm going to write my name to introduce my little presentation. So I'm going to choose the pencil icon over here on the left hand side. I'm going to choose a new color instead of black which I can do by clicking and holding down here and let me choose red or purple. Done. I just click off the color again and now I'm ready to write. So I'm going to hit the record button and one thing that's important is that when I hit record, I want to start talking right away. You don't want to have a long pause, otherwise it's going to be a little bit awkward when you go back to look at that afterwards. My name is Avi Spector. When I was done, I clicked the record button below and if I want to see what that looks like, I can hit play. If I'm satisfied with that, what I can do is I can create a new slide by clicking on the little box over here with the green plus. Now if you notice below, I'm on slide 2 out of 2. On slide 2, I want to bring in some shapes and some pictures. So the first thing I'm going to do is bring in a picture, and the way to do that is by clicking on that paper icon with the green plus found over here. I'm going to choose an existing photo or video. And I'll choose something for my camera roll. How about this picture of a tree and a mountain? If I don't want to make any adjustments to the photo, I just click on Done in the upper right hand corner. And I can pinch and zoom and move this around to however I want this to appear before I start recording. In fact, you can even move it around while you're recording. Next thing I want to do is I'm going to go choose a shape. In order to do that, I click on this little icon over here hold it down and I have a variety of different shapes. I'm going to choose the arrow tool, that's fine with me, and I'm going to have it pointing over to the tree. Okay, and I'll maybe move that around a little bit, get it in the right place. I'm going to choose my little pencil icon and now I'm ready to go on slide two of my presentation. So what you're looking at over here is a tree. You may also notice that there are clouds in my image and also some mountains over here. As before when I was done, I clicked on the record button below to stop the recording. Now, if I'm happy with that, as before, what I can do is I can click on the new slide icon. And now I'm on slide three. So what I'm going to do this time is in order to save time so you don't have to watch me write out everything, I'm going to write out what I want it to write in advance. So I'm going to choose a different color, I'm going to choose green, and I'm going to write the word nature. Good. And in order to highlight what's up on the screen as I'm talking, I'm going to use a laser pointer. The laser pointer is by, found by clicking on this little icon over here and holding it down. And I'm going to choose just a little red dot laser pointer. All right, so I have my text set up and now I'm going to go and present it. So what we're looking at in this slide over here is nature. That's spelled N-A-T-U-R-E, nature. There you go, I have slide three. And just for fun, let's create one more slide. I'm going to hit record. And that's the end of my... <coughs> Whoops, I messed up. What do I do if I screw up on slide four? Well, I can stop the recording. I can hit rewind over here. Let's do that again. And that's the end of my presentation. Thank you for watching. 
So there you go. I now have my whole presentation done. If you look over here, if you click on the slides, you can actually see what slides I have. If I want to, I can actually just click and hold and move around the order of the slides if I want to, but I think the slides are in a pretty good order. And also you can delete slides too. Now that last slide I made where I said the end, I don't really need it, so let me, let me just get rid of it. So I'm just going to hold my finger down on there, and now I have a little X button over there. I just click on the X, and I've deleted my slide. So now I only have three slides. Now if I want to play this back from the beginning, what I need to do is click and hold down the little play button over there, and I have this little play button over there. It's actually yellow, and that, if I click on that, it's going to play back my whole presentation from the beginning. Now in the very last step, what you want to do is you want to export your work. You want to make it into a movie file so that students can watch it uh, on YouTube or actually just on the iPad itself. So to do so, you click on this little icon down here, and I'm going to click on Export Movie to Camera Roll. Essentially what that's going to do, it's just going to put the movie on my iPad. So I can just go over to my student, give them the iPad, and they can watch the movie from the camera roll. If you get a little bit more adventurous, what you could do is you can export the movie to YouTube and make a YouTube channel. It's a pretty neat little trick, and I do that often. So I'm going to click on Export Movie to Movie Camera Roll. And what it's going to do now is put together all those frames of animation into a single movie file. And we're going to find that movie file in our camera roll, which I'll show you in just a moment. Once that's done, it's going to say Movie Saved Camera Roll. I'm going to click on OK, and then I'm going to exit the app. Once the movie's done exporting, what I can do is go to my camera roll by clicking on the Photos icon over here. Next, you'll be presented with a list of all the different movies in your, and pictures in your camera roll. Uh, if I were to want to watch the movie, I can just click on it, or I can email it. 